Hello and welcome to Tips and Tricks Tuesday. I'm Lynn Allen and I'm coming to you from very sunny, very hot Northern California. And today we're going to talk about a command that's been in the product for quite some time. It used to be an express tool. It grew up and became a real live AutoCAD command a few releases ago and that is Lay ISO. So pretty much regardless of the release you're on, you'll be able to use this feature. Uh, there are a couple of nice additions that were added in 2008, but regardless of the release you're on, you should be able to use this very cool tool. So. I'm going to grab the lay ISO command up here from uh, the ribbon, the, the 2009 ribbon in this case, but we'll go back getting it other ways later on during the example. And you'll see as I go through here how this works, all you have to do is select one or more objects, and then what will happen is, is that AutoCAD by default will lock and fade the rest of the layer. So the only layer you really see, the only one that's prominent there, is the layer that I selected. I could have picked multiple objects on multiple layers if I wanted to, but I just picked one. Now you'll see the objects underneath there that I can actually see the objects. You can see there's a nice lock symbol, but if I go in the line command, for example, I can still you know, snap to those objects. I just can't edit them, right? If I try to erase one of them, it's going to say no, no, no. It's not going to find, it's all locked, 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 so you can't hurt them. So very effective command, very nice command. You'll also see inside of AutoCAD 2008, we had the ability to let me grab that one more time to control the fade factor. I can move it over to the right if I want to fade it more. I can move it over to the left if I want it to almost look as though it's not faded at all. Really, really nice feature. So you have complete control over that. And if you decide that you want to bring everything back, no problem. You're just going to use the unisolate command. Okay, easy enough. So if you've ever wanted to isolate one particular layer because you want to work on that layer and do something and the other layers are in your way, the lay iso command is fabulous. Okay, there's some various settings as well. I want to make sure that you're aware of all of these settings. Let me back up just a little bit. I'm still inside this viewport though. I'm going to go into the lay iso command. As I said, you can also key it in. It's also in the menus and the toolbars, of course. You'll see there's a settings option down there at command line. And I've been using the lock and fade option. That fade option was added in 2008. But most of us are used to the off option that's been in there for quite some time. And just kind of show you how that works, I'm going to go ahead and select, we'll select a, one of these objects out here, like a, green, on a, a layer that seems to be green there, and hit an extra enter. And you'll see that in this case, it turned off all of the other layers. You'll notice it happened in all of the viewports, all of the layers except for the layer of the object that I selected. Does that make sense? Pretty nice feature, right? Now, in some situations, I'm going to use my lay unisolate again. In some situations, you may decide that you want to have it affect just the viewport that you're in and not all the other viewports. This is a really nifty, really cool way for you to control the layers that are displaying into the viewports. Now, most people don't think about using this command to do that. So I'm going to go back into lay iso. Let's go back into settings. And we'll continue with off, but you'll see there's this really cool option of VP freeze. I like it to freeze the layers in this viewport only. So let's see how that works. I'll come in here and I'll pick the same type of object. Hit an enter. And I want you to notice that it only affects that viewport. So it froze all of the other layers except for the one that that object was on in this viewport only. Very, very cool feature. Something that most people don't think about using with lay ISO. And of course, once again, you want to bring it back lay an ISO so you can key it in as well and everything comes back the way it was. So I think you're going to love this command. Go ahead and take advantage of this feature and it's going to hopefully save you some time in your everyday drawing life. So I'll be back with you next Tuesday.